You know, folks, it's about time we got some new Mega Constructs news. The Chopper Takedown and Wasp Onslaught are starting to hit store shelves. We're now waiting for the Gun Goose Gambit and Razorback Blitz. But I was looking for something else. Something non-Halo Infinite related. I know a lot of the community feels the same way, that we do love all of these new Infinite sets. But I want to see more sets dedicated to the 20th anniversary of Halo. We have the new 20th anniversary pack, and yes, it was listed on Amazon and then immediately went out of stock, so I don't know what's going on there. But considering it's been 20 glorious years of Halo, I want some more legacy sets. And lo and behold, we've got some inbound guys. So hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. We're here again with some Mega Constructs news, and this is something that I'm a little skeptical of. I don't know what's going on yet, because three new sets have been listed on a website with no pictures, no description descriptions, just the title, price, and release date. So we're going to run them down one by one. These three sets, and this is real, are called the Spartan Squad Pack, Arbiter's Quest, and Winter Contingency. Ooh, buddy, if that doesn't make the mind run wild. It's crazy. I'm really excited about the potential of these sets, and I'll tell you why. First of all, yes, we are approaching the 20th anniversary of Halo, and the only thing we've got to celebrate so far is the 20th anniversary pack. Jazzware has made a legacy pack with the Master Chief from Combat Evolved and Infinite, but I want to see some more Mega Constructs, okay? And recently, a new line of blind bags was leaked. It's called Halo Universe series one, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. A set that celebrates all the games that came before, and hopefully will start to differentiate properly Mega Constructs releases for Halo Infinite and for everything else, because you can't just make Halo Infinite toys forever. There's so much that came before it. This is the right direction for the company. Halo Universe Series 1 gave me hope for the future. It looks so beautiful, and now we've got three sets that I would say are also going to continue that Halo Universe legacy. I would like if the whole line was called Halo Universe, completely separate from Halo Infinite. Right now, they don't say Halo Universe, but they kind of do imply it. I'll note to you all first that these sets say they're releasing on the 1st of November. That might just be a placeholder, but if November is the month of the 20th anniversary of Halo, it's absolutely possible they could come out then. The Halo Spartan Squad Pack. Now, that does get you wondering, is it going to be Spartans from different games? I would love if it was four, maybe five Spartans from all different sets sections of the Halo universe, or is it going to be Halo Infinite related? I would think because all three of these were listed at the same time, I would like to think that they were all separate from Infinite. This retails for $20, which if you think about things that have come before at that price point, I think we're more looking at a very detailed fire team, like the old school fire teams that you could even get five figures in. I would love to see some kind of legacy set, maybe all in one color, or maybe just all different Spartans. We might even be talking a, a Spartan squad, because we don't really use the word squad in Halo. Maybe squads are related to the new sort of lineup that you get at the beginning of Halo Infinite multiplayer matches. Maybe a lot of different named characters that have come before. It's important with these sets to think about the figures that haven't been out for a while, and that's especially true for Halo Winter Contingency. You've got to think about the characters that haven't been released in many years, because Mega Constructs as a company, it, it's always dealing with this dilemma that you do have to keep on re-releasing the popular characters. Scalpers and also people not wanting to let go of their old toys means that slowly the price of these figures, especially old Halo heroes, just skyrocket. All the members of Alpha 9, like, they are so expensive now. So you see with the 20th anniversary pack, they're now re-releasing Mickey and Dare and Carter and a meal because you have to keep on cycling through these figures every like four or five years. Just keep the fans happy. I would love if the Spartan Squad Pack was four or five figures that haven't been out for many, many years. Perhaps even some of Alpha 9 like Dutch or Romeo or maybe a couple of Fireteam Osiris or Blue Team. Anything down that road would be cool. Maybe an iconic Spartan like Book 
just leading some non-named characters with just some popular molds of armors we've not seen in a while. So the Spartan squad pack, obviously by the name, is the hardest to predict. It really could be anything, so I'm really looking forward to how that develops. Let's move slightly up the price margin here. We've got $25 for the Arbiter's Quest. The Arbiter's Quest, what on earth could that be, honestly? When you look back at what the Arbiter has done throughout the games, I would say the logical assumption is this is Halo 2. It could be a Halo Infinite pack, but I don't think Mega Constructs would be allowed to reveal the Arbiter, such a very important character being present in Halo Infinite yet. And then in Halo 3, the Arbiter just kind of follows the Master Chief for a lot of the game. I would say this is more likely Halo 2. And then if you think about the Arbiter's quest, is it his quest to take out Sese Refumi on the mining facility? Is it his quest to take down the Prophets later on? I don't know what part of the Great Schism this is uh, taking place in, but wow, I'm so excited about this one. We could also see the Arbiter with the Swords of Sanghelios at the Battle of Sinaion. That would be pretty dope. I, I would, I, I want to see Halo 2, honestly. It's not been that long since we've got a Halo 2 Arbiter. It came in the Arbiter versus Master Chief pack, but again, that pack is becoming rarer by the day. If we had something like the Arbiter going into quarantine zone, I think that one's less likely because Mega Constructs recently did a poll where you could decide which figure you wanted in Halo Heroes Series 16. A flood combat form was one of the choices, but it didn't win. So I don't think it's likely it's going to be that. There are so many opportunities here. Even the Arbiter versus Tart though that would probably be the name of the set. The Arbiter's Quest, man, like, it's so exciting. There are so many options there. Really, really hyped for, like, just anything that goes back now, because we've had Halo Infinite for, like, a good year and a half worth of sets, and I'm ready to, like, go back to the legacy sets here. And, and there is nothing more legacy when it comes to Halo than Winter Contingency. Winter Contingency, man. Ah, oh, that is... So that, that, that is just like insane how many opportunities, how many possibilities this set could be. Let's just think about it for a second. For a start, Halopedia defines the Winter Contingency as an official United Nations Space Command emergency plan that deals with situations where Covenant forces have become aware of or are present at a human colony world. So Winter Contingency is not only one of the best music tracks in Halo, but also the opening playable mission. So it's the second mission of Halo Reach, but the first playable one of Halo Reach, and it's where we discover the Covenant on Reach. It's Carter's famous last words at the end of that mission. Affirmative, it's the Winter Contingency. Like, I've played that mission more than any other. Maybe in Halo, because I've introduced so many people to Halo through that mission on Halo Reach. And it just holds such a special place in my heart. In terms of what this set could be, my first idea is a reimagining of the Falcon. Because the Falcon is, I think, the most demanded old school Halo set that is reintroduced into Mega Constructs. It originally came with Cat, which was the first ever named figure. It's just such a wonderful vehicle, but so hard to get your hands on now. So hard to get a 100% complete version of it. And man, I just love that Falcon so much. So if they were to re-release the Falcon, I think it would be with George. We got Noble Six and Cat in Halo Hero Series 10. We're getting Carter and Emil in the new 20th anniversary pack. I think it's gonna be George, maybe Jun as well. Like imagine if we got both of them in one Falcon set, maybe with a landing pad or maybe with a section of reach. I would love to see one of those buildings with the wind turbines. And if you think I'm shooting too close to the sun here, this set retails for 80 US dollars. So it's no joke, this is gonna be a beast of a set. I think it's gonna be a Falcon. Either that or I would love to see the end of the mission where we fight off against some zealot class elites inside a facility. I would love a structure. That would be really great. Maybe one of the original farming compounds, but I think it's going to be a Falcon. That's that's my bet. That's my bet. I'm putting my money on George and John in a Falcon on reach. Give us a Mega Constructs mower. <laughs> let's, let's do it. Mega Constructs mower. Wow. That would be so great. <laughs> any, any like Covenant forces from that mission against a Falcon, maybe even a Revenant. That would be awesome. Yeah. The possibilities, another spade set, whoa. 
Oh, yes. Winter Contingency, guys. What a name for a set. Ladies and gentlemen, Mega Constructs fans, three brand new sets, which I hope are completely separate from Halo Infinite. The Halo Spartan Squad Pack, the Arbiter's Quest, and Winter Contingency. The last two, man, I am so excited about them. So excited. And if they truly do come out on the 1st of November, that's right in time for the 20th anniversary, so... Good job, Mega Constructs. Good job. I, I really were hoping, alongside a lot of the community, that they would do more than just this 20th pack. I'm also very nervous with this 20th pack. If it's actually going to be on store shelves, I'm praying it will be. Because there are some concerns. The Amazon listing just sold out immediately. I'm really hoping they have a tight lid on this one. Uh, the Master Chief SDC set last year got scalped immediately and was never the same again. So I really really hope they learn from that. And the 20th anniversary set will be retailed in as many countries, as many stores as possible. Let me know in the comments down below, guys, which one of these sets are you excited for the most? The names, I mean, Spartan Squad, that could be anything. Maybe that will turn out to be the best one. But Winter Contingency and Arbiter's Quest, man, that's just so dope. There were some other sets listed on this deep discount website, and they are not Halo related. Uh, three Masters of the Universe, Land Shark, Slime Pit, and Hordak Strike. If you know what they are nice nice if you're, if you're a masters of the universe fan masters of the universe fan then great and the last one call of duty armory shipment don't know what an armory shipment is. I imagine some kind of armor pack where you have like a ton of weapons and accessories with one figure We'll just have to wait and see but yes Gear up, guys, for the 20th anniversary of Halo. It's been a bit of a shaky couple of days with Halo Infinite, with there being no co-op campaign at launch and no Forge, but I'm in it for the long haul, guys. I think we're going to come out on top here. And Mega Constructs is clearly leading the way with Jazzware Toys, of course, into the future of Halo Toys. This was another video with The Domain, guys. If you enjoyed what you see today, please do make sure to like this video and comment down below with your most anticipated set, even one of the ones that's already been announced. I want to hear it. Thank you very much for the support. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there. Join me tomorrow for a huge haul video. I'm very excited about it. And the domain is signing off.